I think above all what Lifebook has shown me is that even when you're feeling incredibly vulnerable and perhaps at your lowest point in your life sometimes, maybe feeling that you just don't feel safe or you can't be seen or it's not safe to be heard or you just don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning and just connecting with life and the day and the world around you that actually if you can just make that effort if you can just feel your fears and really just push through it somehow there is a better way actually pushing through it letting go of ego really because that's all it is it's just our survival strategies created by our ego to keep us safe but no longer helpful and that if we can let go of these ego strategies then there is a, a beautiful life for us a much wider life a broader life a life where people do matter where relationships matter where social life is important for your expansion and your growth and for helping you heal and helping you really fulfill your potential connecting with other people through relationships through social activities through work through any aspect of your life is key to living a healthy happy and productive life and i am really grateful and happy and really feel i've i've learned a valuable lesson here and the other big thing that's really changed is my attitude towards my work. In the past, I've, I have been a workaholic. I'm extremely driven and very much a people pleaser. So I was working all hours and really not putting myself first in a sensible way. You know, I wasn't looking after my health, my self-care. I wasn't resting. I was, I was there all the time for everybody because... I do care about people, um, I, I really felt I needed to help people, I, I, that was my, my, my duty, my, my reason for being here. And I still think that's an incredibly important part of my life, I think that is part of my soul journey, is to be here on this earth to help other people.